Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is June 27th, 2018. It is my outing number 86 of this year. And for most of you here on the YouTube platform, this is probably a very special day because you guys have been waiting for this video like whoo, forever, you know? Maybe some of you more than a year, but in this video, we are going to break the bait caster, all right? Now, I did do a live stream on the bait caster setup a few weeks ago. If you watched the live stream and you followed me here on the YouTube platform, you have already seen me catch some fish on this setup right here, right? I caught a few chain pickerel, the Ezox uh, Niger. Let's just pronounce it that way for now, right? But for those who missed, I thought, let's just bring a video on the channel, right? So for a long time, a lot of people here on the YouTube platform have been asking me, Leo, is the casting stuff good when it comes to the bait casting setup? And I've been telling you guys for ages, right, that the stuff is good according to my co-workers. I always like to emphasize just because I am sponsored by a company here, that it doesn't mean that I'm just going to go out there and say that everything that they do is the best, right? I am the type of person who I only tell you a product is good after I test it myself. And that's why here on the YouTube platform, when you come over and you ask me about the spinning gear, I am all about giving you recommendations, right? Oh man, the Casking Sharky 3 is great if you're going to fish salt water. Maybe you should try the Kodiak. If you're looking for something a little bit under the budget, right? There is the Mela 2. But when you guys ask me about the bait casting setup, you know? All that I could say was, well, some of my friends have tested it and they say it is great. So I'm assuming it is great. Well, fear no more, my friends, <laughs> because now I have tested at least this one setup. This is one setup that I can definitely recommend you guys. So before we start doing some fishing in this video, I'm just going to give you a brief summary of what I'm going to be using today. For those who missed the live stream, I'm using a Casking Trifecta today. I got here the Casking Assassin Baitcaster, right? It's got the dual, dual command here on the side. It's got the centrifugal and the magnet brakes on the side. For the rod, I'm using the Speed Demon Series rod. This is a seven feet, one piece rod okay okay part of a series that i'm going to be talking very soon here in this video it has got a 16 multi-dimensional blank that makes this rod very very light and very durable it's got the fuji guides right that everyone out there loves and approves of etc when it comes to the fishing line we are going to be using the cast pro spectra braided line today I am going to be doing a video with it soon, so don't worry about it, okay? This is the state-of-art fishing line that Casking has come out with for the past few months. It is made in the United States of America, okay? So this is a USA-born product, a Spectra braided line, very good quality, comes with our biodegradable, spool, environmental friendly. I'll talk about it later. And when it comes to the lure, we're going to be using my trusted Z-Man Chatterbait today. The same lure that uh, shattered my phone on the live stream a few weeks ago. <laughs> a few weeks ago, okay? So anyways, I would like to emphasize, right? I'm going to be doing reviews on all of this later, okay? In this video, I am going to be focusing more on this rod. And I would like to give some emphasis to the Casking Species Series or Species Oriented Rods that have been coming out in the market. So for those who are not familiar, since the beginning of this year, 2018, Casking has been coming out with different rods in the market that are very species oriented. They have the Wild Eye, or I believe it is called, that is the Casking rod specialized for walleye, the Zander Vitreus. They have rods specialized for largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides, right? The Speed Demon series and the Speed Demon Pro Tournament series. The one that I'm holding right here that weighs only a few ounces is the Speed Demon series. They have rods specialized for steelheads and salmon. Okay, I think they call it the Casking Chrome. And just recently, they actually came out with two new rods in the market that are specialized 
for catfish, all right? So I'm gonna leave the names here. You can go check it out if you're big on the catfishing game. So anyways, right? Uh, final thing I'm going to talk about before starting this video is that the best oriented rods, right? That Cascade came out, uh, came out with, each one of them is specialized for a certain technique. So when it comes to the Speed Demon series that I'm holding right here, there are multiple rods, each one of them for different techniques. The one I'm using in this video, as you guys can see right over here, is the Chatterbait, all right? And that's why we're using the Chatterbait in this video. It would break the purpose, right? If I use a drop shot on a Chatterbait rod, right? So <laughs> anyways, let's get this video started, right? In the name of Pai, do Filho, Espírito Santo, Vamos pegar uns black bass aí, hein, rapaz? All right, hopefully we'll catch some fish in this video. Stay tuned. Goodness gracious, I don't know about the bass, but you guys see this over here? The bluegill are spawning pretty good today. They are in full effect here, just laying the eggs, protecting the nest right over here. Look at that, the spawning colors. So you would think around these nests, there's got to be some predatory species of fish to take advantage of that, right? Hopefully. Dang it. Dang it. Ah. How did I miss that, man? I saw it as white, but it too. Come on, come back. I have faith in your fish. I mean, it was a very small one though, but it was a pickerel. Come on, pickerel. I remember that dock. The dock was where I caught one of my biggest pickerel around here a few years ago. I mean, nowadays, I don't know how's the situation over here. Back in the days, man, there always used to be one or two big ones, you know, right around this area, drop right away to the other side, man. They would be there, ready to ambush your chatterbait, your senko, whatever you drop there. Uh, one can say that the times may have changed. Guess we shall find out. Fish on. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a pickerel. First fish of the day. On the chatterbait. Son. Oh yeah. Got at least. Oh, 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 oh. all right, all right. Got at least catch something, right? Oh man. This beast swiped at the. Woo. Swiped at the chatterbait. Look at that. First fish of the day, man. Z man. Chatterbait. Took a while. Finally caught. A pickerel. Whew, I will admit it. It took a little while to get this fish. But check it out. Ooh, still a little bit pissed. Gotta be careful. There we go. Our first fish of the day, man. On the speed demon. Bait casting. Set up. Little chain pickerel. Ezox Niger. Alright. Gotta release this guy over here. There he goes. Didn't stay outside of the water for too long. You know what I'm saying? It bit right next to the lily pads, man. Today has been a tough day. I've been casting out here everywhere. I saw two chain pickerel before this one. It swiped at the Z-Man chatterbait, right? But no hookup. So, you know, I am quite happy that at least I got to land a fish today. Yes, sir. Places like this, man. Sometimes they have a little pickerel. Oh, 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 no good. No good, no good. Bang the grass, man. Bang the grass. But when you use the cast, when you use the cast pro, my man, it ain't that bad. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! Yeah! Smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, man, you can have the worst backlash. But as my father used to tell me, if you just solve things, you know, with patience, it's like a little puzzle, right? Solve it with patience, you gotta be fine. Oh, 
fish. Oh, dang, dude. There's a big ass pickerel right here, folks. There's a big pickerel, man, right here. It's wiped. Dude, it's wiped at the chatterbait. Oh, man. It's swiped the cheddar bait like my wife swipes at the sandwiches I make, man. Dang. That's snag, that's snag. That's that's fish, dude. That's fish, that's fish. Get it, get it boy, get it boy. Get it boy. That was the pickerel. Fish on. That's not pickerel. What is that? Holy moly, dude! Holy cow! I thought it was a pickerel that that is wiped on my stuff. Holy macaroni, dude! It's a brown bowhead, man. Whoo! I said it was a swiping like my wife is wipes of the sandwiches. I thought it was a chain pickerel. Turns out that it is a brown bowhead. The Amiurus nebulosus. Super aggressive and fat, too. Crazy. Wow. Will you look at this? Initially, I thought it was a chain pickerel. You know, I saw it down there. It was like swiping at it. I was just like, whoa, man, chain pickerel, you know? Nah, man. It's just a brown. Ugh. Bowhead, uh, look at that, dude. It is woo. It was on the chatterbait. Look at that. Got to release it now. But look how chubby this guy is. Catfish <laughs> on the chatterbait, man. Beautiful, beautiful sample, man. Super fat. All right. Okay, let's release this guy over here. Catfish are quite sturdy. I don't want to go down there, but there you go. Oh, dang! Oh, hell yeah. Now the day is going a little bit better. Some structure over here. Should be some fish right around this area. I mean, there's carp around this. <laughs> I don't know about fish, but carp, man. There's carp. Oh, see, I spooked the carp right there. Fish on. That's not a carp, that's a bass, son. Yeah, right next to the log. Oh, that was the third species of the day. But it's all right, man, because it's just a little largemouth bass. Uh, all right, you are forgiven. You are forgiven for today. All right. There should be a fish right around here. I don't know, that part at the back there looks pretty good. This part here at the back looks darn good, man. But I don't know if there's a fish there or not. But it looks good. Oh, 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 fish oil. Yeah, I told you it looks darn good. Third species of the day, large mouth bass. If I can land it, hey, small, but nice. Ooh, almost got away. Look at that. Whoo, boy. I'm sorry about that, I messed up your mouth, bro. There we go, little one. Well, this one kind of makes up for the one that got away earlier today. Very, very small, tiny, large mouth bass, but you know what? At least we got one of those green ones today, yeah? Whew. It is about 5.30 p.m. right now. I am super, super tired, folks, so I think I will be calling it a day. I've been fishing out here for six and a half hours, casting this setup right here, which is a setup that I am, of course, not used to, right? After all, I don't use this every day. So before I finish this video, a few remarks that I would like to give it to you guys, right, who watched this entire video so far. Number one, I am a left-handed person and I like to reel with my left hand. This is one reason why I am so tired right now. The whole day I've been gripping this thing with my left hand and reeling with my right hand. And usually for my spinning gear, for my auto fishing sessions, 
it is the opposite, right? So this hand right here is not really used to gripping, you know, the whole day. So my grip on the left hand now is extremely weak. On the other hand, my right hand, right, the reeling speed, I have adapted much better to it now. So right now I feel kind of comfortable reeling with my right hand, right? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Remark number two, today was a tough day of fishing. You guys saw it. I landed three different species of fish in this video and that was like godly, like extremely good. As you guys know, when I do these reviews out here, I always pick public bodies of water. And this canal right here is highly pressured, very, very pressured. Every day there are people fishing this canal. And even today, while I was fishing here, I walked down and up, right, my whole way. I saw about five, six people fishing this canal. So I am very, very grateful that we were able to catch some fish. And when you fish highly pressure areas like this, right, and you catch fish on lures, you just feel so accomplished when you don't get skunked. And the last remark for the day, right? Oh, I'm sorry, two more remarks. You guys may have heard in this video that this reel makes some little noises, you know? Sometimes when I'm really in, it's like, turk, turk, turk. All right, the sound effects are not that good, but you get the idea. I would like to emphasize that it's not Cast King's fault, okay? What happened is when I purchased the Cast King Assassin, I opened it up myself, I broke it up all the little pieces, and then I put it up back together. As you guys saw in this video, the reel works great. I just want to take a look what's inside, right? But along the way of building it back together, I may have misplaced a little piece or, or done something because that little sound is the only thing that I can't really get rid of, okay? But I would like to emphasize, if you do have a casking assassin, you already know this. If you don't, not all rails, of course, come with this little Urgh! sound, all right? And then the last remark is, of course, about the rod, right? This is a whole setup that I really, really recommend. I really enjoyed it, six and a half hours, Sure, I'm very tired, but it is very smooth. It was very smooth, you know. I had a nice feel for the rod, man, really in the fish, setting the hook and just cast and retrieve with the chatterbait, right? This is something that you guys have to think about. What is about this rod from the, from the Speed Demon series, the chatterbait, that is so different than the other rods of the Speed Demon series for the other techniques, right? After all, this is a technique-oriented series what is it that is so different and if you guys work the chatterbait and you fish for largemouth bass and other game fish you guys know that it is not every rod in the market that can handle the chatterbait you need a rod that has got a good backbone and at the same time at the tip you have a nice level of sensitivity and this rod is all about that because when folks produced made this rod a casking they took in consideration right the needs of the angler when using the chatterbait and that's why each and every rod in the speed demon series different techniques right has a different build the material is the same but it may have a different percentage of backbone and different sensitivity at the top and etc so you know depending on what you like to throw out there i don't know right you pick your technique you may want to buy a rod that is very technique oriented anyways this is it for this video i am so so tired but you know what every single second of the day was worth it i am so happy that we finished the day with three different species of fish all right largemouth bass micropterus salmoides brown bowhead Ameurus nebulosus and the chain pickerel, the Ezox um, Niger. Let's just pronounce it like that. So thank you very much for watching, folks. I appreciate it. I'll be bringing, you know, other casking videos on the channel later. I will be doing, you know, <laughs> other reviews on other products. But for today, this is it, okay? So tie lines, take it easy. It is time to go get something to eat. Wow, so many pond snails here. I got one! Yes? Finally? Don't let it fall, man. If it falls in the water, it doesn't count. <laughs> I finally got one! Yeah! 